Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and use the Rockstar Games Launcher on Linux. So for this purpose, we're going to be using a piece of software called Lutris, which can really be thought of as a universal gaming platform, and it supports a wide range of third-party launchers, including the Rockstar Game Launcher. Now, Lutris is available on a wide variety of Linux distributions, and in most cases, you can just install it directly using your distribution package manager, although if you want, there is also a flat pack version available. In fact, the only real requirement for using Lutris is that you've installed the latest supported graphics drivers for your hardware, and you've got Wine installed globally. So let's crack on the first step, which is to install some drivers. So when it comes to gaming on Linux, then more than likely, you're going to typically fall into two camps. You're either going to have an NVIDIA GPU, or alternatively, you may have an AMD GPU. In either case, the driver installation process is the same. You download the latest supported driver, you install it using your package manager, and then reboot the machine just to finish the process. Now, when it comes to AMD hardware, if you kept your installation of Linux up to date, then more than likely you're already using the latest supported driver. But of course, depending on your distribution choice, then the version of the driver that you've got available will differ. So for example, running release distributions such as Art Linux will typically get the latest drivers sooner than more conservative ones. For example, Linux Mint. Now, alternatively, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, then you will be required to install the driver manually, although most distributions nowadays will have some form of GUI tool for this purpose. In fact, many distributions such as Pop! OS or Ubuntu will pre-install the driver as part of the overall Linux installation process. Now, for others, the tool should be pretty self-explanatory and it's using them something along the lines of driver manager, hardware configuration or additional drivers, which incidentally is used by Linux Mint, Manjaro and Ubuntu respectively. Now, alternatively, if you wish to install your drivers using the terminal route, then there is a written guide on the Lucius Wiki and it covers the driver installation process of both AMD and Nvidia hardware across a wide range of popular Linux distributions. But really, in either case, once you're happy that you're now running the latest supported driver for your hardware, then it's time to move on to installing the Wine compatibility layer. The second step of the process is to install Wine globally. Now, Wine itself can be seen as a compatibility layer, and it's what's used to run Linux developed games on other operating systems such as Linux or even Mac OS. It's also the foundation for the Proton tool used on the Steam Deck. However, since Lutris doesn't use Proton, then we do need to make sure that Wine is installed globally for the application to run correctly. Although technically, Lutris does use its own custom builder Wine to run games. Now, it should be noticed that if you wish to use the flat pack version of Lutris, then you can safely skip this step. When it comes to installing Wine, I would strongly recommend using your distribution's package manager. Now, once again, there is written documentation on Lutris Wiki, and it covers the process of installing Wine for a wide variety of Linux distributions. So again, just follow the sections that's relevant to your installation. Okay, now that we're happy that Wine is installed and we've got our drivers up to date, we can finally move on to install Lutris itself. The next thing we're gonna do is to install Lutris. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Lutris is available on pretty much every Linux distribution out there. In fact, if you scroll down the downloads page, and you'll see the recommended installation method for a wide variety of Linux distributions. But in either case, once you've installed Lutris, then it's really just a matter of launching it from your application launcher. So now with Lutris running, we can move on to installing the Rockstar Game Launcher. So to do this, click on the plus button at the top left. Click on the option here where it says search the Lutris website for installers. And we're going to search for the word Rockstar. As you can see, you get a couple of results, and we're going to go for the one at the top where it says Rockstar Game Launcher. Now, as of this video, there are actually two options here. You've got the standalone at the top, and then the standalone at 1.0.36.344. In my case, I'm actually going to choose the second option, mainly because the top one will not install the game launcher, which is a bit daft. But in the future, you might find that this is fixed. So let's choose this option here. Click Install. We're going to specify where we're going to install it to. I'm just going to stick in the usual place, click continue, and then click this button here where it says install to begin the process. You can see it's now pulling down the installer. Now you may get prompted at some point to install what's known as Wine Mono, which is kind of like an open source version of .NET. If you do, make sure to click yes to install that. As you can see, it's now going through. Now we've got the installer here. So use my language, which is English, click continue, click continue again, and then continue again. I don't want to add a shortcut, continue, 
And as you can see, the process is now running through. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long for this to go through. There you go, all done. So what I tend to do is untick here where it says on close and then click close. So the installation process is now finished. So what we need to do is click the launch button to open the application. So the first thing it'll do is update the latest version of uh, the Rockstar game launcher, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so it's just got one more thing to install and then we should see the signing screen very shortly. Okay, brilliant. So we're at the signing screen, so I'm just gonna quickly sign in. Okay, so sign in now. Uh, scan for installation. Uh, no, that's okay, we can click X on that. And yeah, there you go. At this point, the Rockstar game launch is now running. So really from here, it's just a matter of selecting the games that you've, you've previously installed or bought from the system. And then once they've installed, as normal, just launch them. And with that, you're all done. So in conclusion, now you know how to easily install and run the Rockstar Game Launcher on Linux using the magic of Lutris. As always, thanks for watching this video today. If you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, share the video so more people can see it, and if you want to support me while I do, smash that subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. As always, thanks again, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye then.